computer or you're upgrading, I was going to be upgrading, ah, I really need a new computer. What should I get? And as usual, we're going for, for the AMD equivalent uh, because Intel is, is unfortunately still more expensive, though it is the best for gaming. Though as middle aged gamers, you are also middle aged workers. And what a lot of you are comparing are the mid range AMD components, which is your AMD 3600X, which I will remind you now that's two generations ago. If you're looking at the picture, the two generations ago process is actually more expensive than the one generation ago processor, right? The latest generation is the 7,000 series process. That is what I would suggest you buy, but if you're really dead set on buying a processor, the 5600 is definitely the better choice. Again, it comes down to the big factor is smaller die size, right? And even smaller than Intel, right? Intel is still stuck on seven or 11 nanometer. And uh, AMD's 5600 is a five nanometer processor. Smaller die size, uh, less electricity usage, less heat usage. So it's definitely more value for you. And, and as always, right, it means you could get to go up in terms of higher speed and uh, you get higher L2 or L3 cache. Your L2 or L3 cache is the, the thing that's sort of the layer in between your CPU and your GPU and the rest of the stuff in your computer. The bigger it is, the more stuff your computer can do at the same time. So that's always a factor. But yeah, basically, if you think you're buying a 5600 or 3600, don't buy a 5600. And ideally, uh, which is what I hope Adam will do, is he'll buy a 7000 series processor because it is better. 7000 series processors support DDR5, DDR4. DDR5 was shown to have a 10% increase in gaming performance. It's definitely worth the extra money, not to mention just for a game, but also for work because DDR5, the frequency is like starts, like mine's 3200, DDR5 will start at 3600 in terms of 3600 megahertz. So it operates much faster. It goes all the way up to 8000 megahertz. So your RAM will run faster than your actual CPU, right? For DDR5 at some point, if you're rich enough. But yeah, you're getting new CPU, ideally 7600. If you want to go save yourself a little bit of money, go for 5600, but make sure you get a motherboard that supports the new line of AMD CPU.